Hey everyone, welcome to Slice of Pi. Today's topic is star args and star star quarks. So you may have seen these used before in some Python code and wondered what exactly they do. Well, I'm going to use them in this order pizza function so that you can get a better understanding of what's going on here. So first, I need to explain what the asterisks mean in Python. So let's say I have a list of numbers here. Now, when I print this list, we just print out the entire list. It's essentially just this one list object that contains all of these numbers. Okay, so in Python, when I add an asterisk in front of this list here and I print it, you'll see that it's actually printed each individual number. This is called unpacking in Python. This asterisk, when used this way, is called the unpacking operator. If it's next to some iterator, like a list or a string, it will unpack the elements of that iterator. So back to our order pizza function, we can actually do this in reverse. Let's say we know for sure the first argument needs to be the size of the pizza, but what about toppings? That's going to change from order to order. This function needs to be flexible enough to take in an undefined number of toppings. Well, all we need to do here is put star args as one of our inputs. This actually doesn't need to be called args, it's just the typical naming convention. You can change it to whatever you want. For this scenario, I'm actually going to rename this to toppings. Okay, so down here, when we call the order pizza function, we can input as many toppings as we want. Python knows that this first input is assigned to size, but all the remaining inputs here get packed into this tuple called toppings. So watch, in this function, I'm going to print toppings. When we run this, you'll see that it prints out all of our toppings in a tuple. So in this function, I can say, we ordered a large pizza with the following toppings. And I can just create a for loop here to iterate through each topping and print it. So let's run this, and there we go. All right, so what about the star star quarks? How does that work? So let's say we need some extra details for our order, like is it a delivery and how much is the tip? So in our function, let's add star star details. Again, naming convention is quarks, but it can be whatever makes most sense for you. Down here, when we call the order pizza function, let's say delivery is equal to true and tip is equal to five. So these are what's known as keyword arguments. These get handled by star star details. The star toppings handled these positional arguments and put them into a tuple and the star star details will take these keyword arguments and place them into a dictionary as key value pairs. So up here, I'll print details in the function. And when I run this, you'll see that it printed our keyword arguments as a dictionary. So delivery is true and tip is five. So we can use that in this function. So let's say details of our order are, and then let's create a for loop by saying, key comma value in details dot items then in here we can print the key and the value so let's run this and there we go and that's pretty much it hopefully that gave you some helpful insight on what star args and star star quarks mean in python if this was helpful be sure to leave a like subscribe for more content like this and consider watching some of my past content thanks for watching and i'll see you all in the next video